Hello and welcome to section where we will be talking about multiplication and division of real numbers. We just finished addition and subtraction, and so now we're moving on to uh, the next part. Before we get started, we hope that you had a chance to watch the study skills video. That was uh, There's a link right above it. If you haven't seen it yet, make sure to pause this video and watch it. It's uh, kind of funny. A little Darth Vader, a little uh, Star Wars in there. Um, but uh, there's a real important uh, study skill that I, I wanted to uh, express and that is that we make sure that we control um, our technology use. Uh, technology is a great thing. It is doing amazing things uh, uh, in our world. Uh, it's great for the gospel. It's great. It makes life simpler. But you also need to realize that it can be a distraction. And so as you watch these videos, you really want to make sure you're free of distractions. It's a good idea to turn that cell phone off uh, or put it into a different room um, as you watch this video and make sure you can dedicate uh, your full attention to uh, to these videos. Uh, Elder M. Russell Ballard said, Remember, brothers and sisters, any kind of addiction is to surrender to something, thus relinquishing agency and becoming dependent. Texting on cell phones can be an addiction, causing the important interpersonal human communication to be lost. So take action. Put your cell phone away during class and start taking steps to let your cell phone be productive and not destructive. We just would hate that you miss out on some of the learning opportunities um, because of uh, technology. Uh, that includes Facebook and other things. Make sure to shut those windows down. Pay attention here. This video is not that long, uh, but we want to make sure you uh, master these concepts so you can be successful uh, in this cl math class and in future math classes as well. With that said, let's get started. So multiplication, we'll start there first. Uh, multiplication of real numbers uh, is, is just like uh, what, it's always, what you've always learned. Uh, when we take a positive number times a positive number, we're going to get a positive number. So 5 times 7 uh, is 35. However, if we multiply a negative number times a positive number, we get a negative number. And and that is true if you uh, and and then if you multiply two negatives together, let's say we had negative five times negative four, uh, two a negative times a negative is a positive number, and so um, this is true. So if you have an even amount of negative numbers, it's going to be positive. If you have an odd amount of negative numbers that you're multiplying together, it's going to be odd. So take a look at this one. Negative 7 times negative 2 times negative 5. Well, that answer is going to be negative. And uh, we would just multiply those together. So 7 times 2 is 14 times 5 is 70, negative 70. You can do these on your calculator as well. Uh, if you pull up your calculator, uh, you have a negative button. Um, make sure you can identify the negative button. The negative button is different than the subtraction button. Be careful, because if you try to use a subtraction button for a negative, if I want to do like negative 7 uh, times 3, and I push the Enter button, Oh, that time it actually worked. Sometimes it will not work. Uh, and so you really want to make sure that you're using your negative button uh, to make sure you do these. Negative 3 times 4, and our answer comes out negative. Another way to express multiplication is using exponents. For example, if I have the number 5 squared, that just is a, a simple way to write 5 times 5, which we know is 25. It's important to remember, though, that th this can get a little tricky when it's when it deals with negatives. If I put in here negative 3 squared, well, that means negative 3 times negative 3. And so negative 3 times negative 3, we know, is 9. Um, if you do this in your calculator, there ca you can find some issues. Uh, for example, watch. If I type in negative 3 and then I put in squared here, um, to do exponents in your calculator, you use a caret button. Uh, some of you may not have this caret button. It may also look like this, y to the x. This button may be how you do exponents in your calculator, one of these two buttons. So if I type this in, and I type in negative 3 squared, I push the Enter button, notice that it comes out as negative 9. Well, that's, that's weird, because when I just did the problem over here, uh, that's, that's not what I got. Negative 3 squared is negative 3 times negative 3. That's a negative times a negative. And so therefore, our answer is positive 9. So be aware, if there are parentheses, you need to type those in. You need to type those into your calculator. So I would go parentheses, negative, oops. Parenthesis, negative 3, close parenthesis, squared. Oh, some of you may also have a squared button that you can push. 
and notice that way we get the answer correct. It's very important that if there are parentheses, you remember that everything inside the parentheses is being squared. That's different than if we had the problem negative 3 squared. Notice this doesn't have parentheses, so the negative is not being squared. The equivalent of this is basically negative times 3 times 3. And in that situation, our answer will be negative 9. So moral of the story is, if the negative is inside the parentheses, then you do include that in the squaring process. If, the neg if there are no parentheses, then this negative is not being squared and is going to be just tacked on at the end of your answer. Okay, so it's time for you to get some practice. Take out your video notebook. Here's five problems we'd like you to work on. Uh, go ahead and pause this video now and push the play button when you're ready to check your answers. Good luck! Okay, so uh, hopefully by now you've worked on these problems. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, use my calculator here to work on these. Um, we would type in 15 times a negative 8. You should have got negative 120 for that answer. We'll write that in here. Negative 120. For the next one, remember to do fractions. You uh, can use this fraction button on your calculator. So negative 5 eighths times negative 2 fifths. And we get 1 fourth. Or you could just, uh, if you did this by hand, you can do it by hand as well. You cancel the fives. This would leave you with a 1 and a 1. You can cancel the twos. That leaves you a 1 and a 4. The answer would be 1 fourth. Notice that the answer is positive because the two negatives cancel out. Negative times a negative is a positive. Um, here we've got fractions. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do that in the calculator. It would be 4 fifths times negative 2 thirds times negative 15 over 7 times 1 half. And we get 4 over 7. We can check that answer to make sure that the positives and negatives were right. We had a positive, then a negative, then a negative, and a positive. So two negatives makes a positive. So we're good there. On this next part here, we're going to plug the 2 in for x. We plug the 2 in, and I get negative 3 times 2 parentheses squared. We're going to use order of operations, which means we need to do the, the parentheses first. So I get negative 6 in parentheses, and I, so I need to square negative 6. The answer there is 36. Remember, that becomes positive. If you did that in your calculator, it would be negative 6 squared, but you need to use parentheses. Negative 6 squared, and we get 36. Okay, be careful. The negative is inside the parentheses, and so therefore it does get squared. It's negative 6 times negative 6. On this one, we plug the 2 in, and I get negative 3 times 2 squared. Now I follow order of operations. I do exponents first. Notice there's no parentheses here. So it would be negative 3 times 4. The answer to this one is negative 12. OK, how'd you do? Make sure to uh, correct your video notebook if you missed a couple. And uh, let's move on to the next section. OK, so let's talk about division. Division is uh, pretty much the same way. Uh, remember that if we're dividing a, a positive by a positive, it comes out positive. If we're dividing a positive by a negative, then it becomes negative. And if we have two negatives, so a negative divided by a negative, we get uh, positive. So it's the same as multiplication, um, uh, the so for signs. Uh, do be aware of that. A couple other things you're going to want to know is that any number, uh, 0 divided by any number, so if I had 0 divided by 10, or 0 divided by 27, or 0 divided by 56, that's always going to be 0. Um, but the opposite is not true. 10 divided by 0, or 11 divided by 0, or negative 31 divided by 0, these results are undefined. Uh, undefined. We do not know um, what that is. Um, in fact, there's a there's a big discussion on what, when you divide by 0, what that, that actually is. But we cannot divide by 0. In fact, if you try to do that in your calculator, um, your calculator is going to get mad at you. If I did 9 divided by 0, Oh, I got an error. So just remember, you can, in fact, I had a calculus teacher that would always go, never divide by zero, with a really evil voice. So uh, just remember that you can't divide 
any numbers by zero, or the answer is is that it's undefined or or not defined. Another topic that uh, we want to talk about when it comes to division is to talk about reciprocals. Uh, the reciprocal of a number is uh, really important to be able to find. For example, uh, if I had the number uh, one. Actually, let's go with two thirds. Uh, the reciprocal of a number is its flipped. It's 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 its multiplicative inverse. In other words, um, you flip the number. So the reciprocal of two thirds is three halves. We would just flip those values. The reciprocal of five. You could think of five as being five over one. And so the reciprocal of five over one is one fifth. Or the reciprocal of negative seven thirds, well, you just flip it, would be negative three sevenths. Um, reciprocals are really important because uh, when we find a reciprocal, uh, we know that when you multiply those numbers together, they'll be the same. For example, if I took three fifths and multiplied it by its reciprocal, which is five thirds, well, if you multiply it across, we would get 15 over 15, which is one. Anytime you multiply a number by its reciprocal, you will get one. Uh, so do be aware of that. Um, so those are uh, how we do reciprocals. Okay, so uh, it's your turn to uh, work on some of these problems here. What we'd like you to do, I've written up six problems. Take out your video notebook and uh, give these six problems a try. Go ahead and pause the video. When you're ready to uh, see the answers, uh, go ahead and resume and push the play button. Good luck uh, working with the division. Okay, how'd you do? Let's find out. So uh, negative 200 divided by 8. Negative 200 divided by 8. Um, again, we could use our calculator for this if we'd like. Uh, I would go uh, negative 200 divided by 8 and push the enter button. We get negative 25. Another way you could have actually done this, um, not that you you had to, is and maybe some of you did, is, is type in this as a fraction. It looks a lot like a fraction. Division is and fractions are basically the same thing. And so you could have typed it in as a fraction as well. Well, you would have gotten the same answer. 0 divided by 17. Remember that 0 divided by anything is 0. And negative 14 divided by 0, well, that's undefined. Don't forget that. Uh, if you type those into your calculator, you would have got those answers. 0 divided by 17 and negative 14 divided by 0. Remember, you never divide by 0. The reciprocal of 3 sevenths. The reciprocal of 3 sevenths, you just flip it, it would be 7 thirds. Um, here uh, is a division problem. To do that, I'm going to move this over. I would do 7 eighths divided by negative 1 half. Push the enter button. We get negative seven fourths. If you were doing that by hand, um, you would have to uh, switch the division to multiplication. So we would do seven eighths times the reciprocal. Remember, when doing, uh, when dealing with fractions and division, you flip and multiply. So it would be times the reciprocal, which would be two over one, with a negative. Uh, the two and the eight would simplify. You get one here, you get four here, and so negative seven fourths would be your answer if you did that uh, by hand. On this last one, that may look a little confusing. It's a fraction divided by a fraction. It basically is the same as this, except we've got one big line, and so we are doing division here, and so uh, we would do negative thirteen twentieths divided by negative two fifths. And we get the answer of 13 over 8. You could have done flip and multiplication as well there. You would have done 13 twentieths times a negative 5 halves. Remember, you, when dividing fractions, we flip and multiply. So, or, or reciprocate is the real word. Use the reciprocal. And then simplify, you would get the same answer. OK, wonderful. Well, that is uh, the lesson. Uh, for today, sections 1.5 and 1.6, thanks for watching. You may proceed to the online assignment. If you need any help with these topics, make sure to uh, stop by and uh, discuss it with a tutor. They'd love to help at the tutor center.